But Paul, you do have another bar in mind. It's not a gay bar. It doesn't no, have, it doesn't to, have be. to be. Gay bar. And I quite like the name of it. Bozo. Yeah. So is it any relation to Boris Johnson? We are on our way to Ponsonby. They are renowned for their independent shops, cafes, restaurants, and it's a lively place, renowned also for their nightlife. Let's take a look. With the sky tower behind us and a hill ahead of us, we are on our way towards Ponsonby. Looks as though we have reached Ponsonby. The Ponsonby Hotel is flying the flag in front of us, and that's the hill we just came up. College Hill Road, I think it is. And if we swing round to here, we can see all the shops of Ponsonby. Now, Paul, I think you want to go into the op shop. Yes. Let's do it. Let's find some bargains, shall we? Paul is already in the shop. And as we said on a previous episode, charity shops are known as op shops here, though we haven't actually seen one that said that on it. Well, you didn't find anything in the op shop today. Well, just a no. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, this is one of these little parades where you see all the shop signs above as you walk along. And we were talking to somebody and we were asking, you know, what yeah. is the story behind these signs? Yeah. And what was it? I can't remember now. Uh, I don't really think she knew either. I think it was to keep out the rain. Possibly, but not the sun. Not the sun. <laughs> Although it does serve a dual purpose. Yeah. Shade and relief at all times. Paper Plus is a bookshop. It also sells calendars, what newspapers there are, and you can also do the lotto here. What's on in Ponsonby, Paul? Uh, social Knitting Club. Oh, that's one for you. <laughs> it says for beginners and experts. All right, well, I'm definitely not an expert. And then there's something about Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, it is a presentation at like a, the library. Like a game of some sort. Oh, sense. right. Shared reading. Because reading is fundamental. Yes, indeed. There's also a pottery market. <laughs> so you could do pottery in Ponsonby. Ah. I do like the look of this historic building. Uh, I'm not sure when it was built, but the Art Deco type exterior is very, very exciting. This is the first time that I've seen a New Zealand post office. Let's check out the opening hours. So the post office is open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's closed on Saturdays, Sundays, and public holidays. And right in front of me is the K10 sushi train. So I would imagine that they would have really, really nice and tasty sushi. Well, we walked up here, but there are plenty of buses. You can take the inner link, which is this green bus, and that will take you down into the CBD. More shopping for Paul. There is a pre-loved co-op and a deaf pop-up across the road.
Okay, so first impressions. I do like the variety of what's on offer. There are some places that may be closed, but there, it's very appealing that we went into what two of those op shops and we went into one of those pop-up places which was nice and cute and quirky which is kind of encompasses what this whole area means like i think it's very vibrant like it's what i'm feeling just now uh and then there's also restaurants and bars and stuff and also a church helpful. paul a church look we haven't been to one yet. so maybe it's time that we went in it is sunday after all mm. and this is all since anglican church are they open well it's sunday i would think so for the most part. Pray that the time goes by slower because I want to enjoy the rest of this time. And I guess we're very blessed to be here finally after the pandemic. And I hope that it will continue to be memorable for the right reasons. And hope we make the most of our time here and thank you for watching over us and keeping us safe and healthy and I hope we make a recovery from all the walking, all the drinking, and all the eating but I hope we enjoy the rest of our time. What a fabulous find! Yes, and you lit a candle as we went out. You said a prayer. It's funny because there were stained glass windows around the church, and I was immediately drawn to four of them without reading the names of the saints. And they just happened to be 
four saints that actually mean something to us. St. Alban, of course, we live near St. Albans. St. George, the patron saint of England where we live. There is also St. Paul. <laughs> and finally, St. Patrick. So all four of them were together. I think that was rather fitting. Let's see if I can uh, get a little tune going. of your favourite comedians? Ruby Wax. Oh, she's over there. The thing I have noticed here is that all the for lease or the for sale signs are pretty plain. So it might have the name of the company such as JLL there. Or is it JIL? No, JLL. And it just says for lease and then the name of the person to contact. Marlowe. Another place we live quite near. I think it's a women's clothing store. We better have done our 15,000 steps today. I think it's close to 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> this car park is reserved for fish only. Interesting names of places I like. Mm. This one, Boy and Bird Free Range Chicken Kitchen. Eat, drink, be humble. Duck Island looks popular. Look, there's a yeah. line Stretching the whole way out. out. Yeah. Yep, it is definitely jutting out of the wazoo. It's an ice cream place. Look, it wow. says scooping today. All right. Parker's is right over there. Mm. Do you like the feel of all these bars and cafes and shops? Yeah, there's a real village feel. Mm. to this place even though it's like a big long strip like a, yeah quite a wide road but um yes it feels sort of quite intimate mm. always a view of the sky tower when there's a gap in the streets gosh ponsonby seems a really big area how far does it go i think it is quite big i think that we've only it did halfway so far you're kidding so right i think I think it goes for like about a mile or so. I feel as though I've walked about five miles. I'm and look. being a wee bit dramatic. Oh, maybe. Look at how wide the road is down uh, there as well. Are we going this way so then? I think we go where the green lights are. Down okay. Right. Okay, so I'm just sitting here just now because my feet are hurting. Sorry. But this is a fun fact. I've noticed that they, they are showing the route, the route numbers, the destination, the occupancy rate, and when they are due. So that's quite a lot of information to know. When what are due though? The bus is due. Oh right, I thought you meant pregnant women. Okay, so you come across Burger Fuse and they are a lovely place to have burgers, which we did back when we went to Parnell. And it's right there. And I think that they stay open pretty much throughout the day. And that place right behind me, Long Room, I think they have various types of eating places because I remember researching Ponsonby and Long Room did come up in one of the searches. But I'm not gonna have it right now because we just ate something. Ah, Mag Nation. 
Uh, Magazines, books, stationery, cards. Maybe this is the place for you. Well, I've got to take a look. Okay. Well, we've just about come to the end of Ponsonby. What did you think of it all? It is quite a long road. Very long indeed. There's more than one road. And we had that big hill to walk up <laughs> at the start. And if we haven't done our 15 thousand steps today I will be very upset then maybe the accuracy of Apple or your phone isn't as accurate as we expected ah, well, we'll just have to see well you know what time it is don't you it's time to subscribe to our YouTube channel it's Paul and Marcus come on hit the subscribe button you know you want to. So we are on K Road or Karangahape um, or Gay Road, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, well, I don't really know why they call it Gay Road because there's only three gay bars here. But that is where they are located. Two of them don't open till 10 o'clock, and that's too late for us because we're old people now. But there is one that opens at four o'clock. Now, we are in a cycle lane, so just watch where you're going. This is supposed to be the happening place at night. <laughs> Do you think it is? All I'll say is that something's definitely happening. What's that? So we are in search of the Eagle Bar. Now we were along here the other day in daylight and we couldn't find it. So I am thinking it may be underground or it may be a very, very tight entrance. We just have to try to find out. Well, I'm, well I am noticing lots of those charity shops. Well, maybe we'll just have to come back during the daytime to look at those. Because I think this is one of the areas that is very different at night as to how it is during the day. There it's are like a total facelift. It is like a total facelift. It's totally different. I see the rainbow flag over there. Oh, I thought it was on this side though. I think that might be something else. Well, they're all bunched together. The they gay are. bars. Um, two of them really are clubs. There's GAY and Family Bar. And we are on the move again. Um, what is that rainbow thing? That's GAY. What oh, was that? There. I don't think that they're open yet. Then. No, it's not until ten. Well, it's got to be along here somewhere because we are coming near the end of the road, aren't we? No. Oh, here it is, right here. Oh. oh baby Well, I've just come out of the Eagle. Only and having one Only pint. had one. Not one pint. No, it wasn't even a pint. No, no, no. They don't do pints here. They do sort of like 450 mil or something. I have to say, I didn't really like it. Um, there was no atmosphere. Uh, Zero character. Yeah, there's, you know, I just, maybe these places liven up. 
after 10 o'clock at night, but no, it wasn't really my cup of tea. But Paul, you do have another bar in mind. It's not a gay bar. It doesn't no, have, it doesn't to, have be. to be a gay bar. And I quite like the name of it. Bozo. Yeah. So is it any relation to Boris Johnson? Let's find out. There are so many places to eat around here. I think this is the premier place for the eating. And I think that we have found Bozo and it's right over here. We found it? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, okay. That's this one. Shall we go in then? Yes, why not? Well, we thought we'd just been to Bozo's, but no, this is a really interesting setup. There is another bar called Acho's. So they basically share the same space. So one is in the front, which is Ancho's. Acho's. Which is a Japanese place. And, and I had this really strong bottle of, what was it? It was I don't know what it was. It was so... So strong. It, it was, was like 7.5. 7 and I had a Japanese stout and it tasted. I was mouthing in there, but you wouldn't be able to hear me because of the music. Um, it tasted like a limited edition black cab from Fuller's. It was really, really good. But if you want to go to Bozo's, it's actually down right in the back. It's right at the back. And. Uh, it's kind of weird, but anyway, it's a gin and rum bar, and I'm not really into those, but maybe that's what you wanted. I don't know. But after your strong one, I think that's... I uh, think I need to eat That's something. about it. So we're off to find somewhere to eat now. Well, we're leaving K Road now. I'm afraid I didn't like it, <gasps> but maybe you will. Heaven for fans. Although, having said that, I might like it during the daytime. So there are lots of those charity shops, I think. We should go into to see what they have to offer. And at least we are getting to use the bus again. The only thing is I have to hold on to my card to make sure I tag off. Girl. We have been to Karangahep Road. At night time, K Road as it's known. And now we've come back during the day to see what it's like. Now, when we came at night, I didn't really like it. Was it kind of dodgy for you? It did feel a little bit, but maybe it has a different feeling during the day. Now, the very start of K Road, the furthest point from the city, is at Great North Road, which was just back there. Which is intersected by Ponsonby Road. And we did visit a clothes shop that you had been wanting to go to. As Colour. Oh, it's, uh, it's not AS. It's as. I don't know. 
as color. Well, it kind of spells it like as color. Ah, right. So <laughs> well, I don't know. And we got a couple of t-shirts and they're really good quality. Now, you were talking to the guy in there when I was trying them on. Yes. And did he say they have a shop in London or they sell them in London? They have like an online presence. Oh, right. They, so if you wanted something and you lived in the UK, you could order something and hopefully it would get to you very quickly. I see. I would assume anyway. There's lots of names from the UK here. This is Hereford Street, one of the intersections. Oh, wow. See what I was saying about the names of streets? Um, Edinburgh Street is quite interesting because it features what I thought was an ice cream parlour called Peaches and Cream. I thought it was so too. No, but it is an adult megastore. What does that mean? <laughs> maybe we should check it out. We or maybe not. There. Of course, K Road is known for its nightlife. And there's lots of pubs along here. We've got the Thirsty Dog in front of us. Oh. And on the other side of the street, Thirsty Liquor. So this is Calusi. We were almost going to come here, uh, but you had to book it in advance and yeah, we, we weren't sure that we would make it. So they basically are only open from 7 p.m. until midnight. Um, on Fridays and Saturdays. And who do we have over here? Do you know anyone? Uh, Anita Wiglet. Did she win it? Mm, she was one of the runner-ups. And when I say it, I mean RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, I think she was runner-up. Anyone uh, else that we know? There was one from this year, from last year's. Uh, I think, I think, Ivana Drink. I don't remember. Well, there's a pub just up there. I don't, yes, that's true. But yeah, um, so they basically do drag brunches and they do cabaret and you have like a dinner entree and then it comes with live shows as well. I see lots of bananas. Do you? I do, look at this. It's a Bananarama drama. You make me better. You know what I've noticed somewhat? It seems a little more subdued during the daytime. And it seems like a lot of the shine isn't there. That's because everybody's gone to sleep. And everyone is not drinking or doing other things. Well, they're all in bed. Yes. All right, so we are passing these bus stops and they multicolored and look kind of like rainbow colors pink pink on the ground without the red and the orange but you see all the other colors quite nice that's more than a rainbow flag paul isn't that the entire lgbtqi plus everything else flag yeah i think so so it looks like Stuff, that is one of the major media outlets here, have some show called K Road Chronicles. All new episodes, stories from our streets. Well, this is where we were at night time. Um, Achos and Bozo. And we are coming up to the Eagle, Family Bar and GAY. And on the other side, opposite, Family is Bar. Family Bar. and G-A-Y. Well, we've come to the end of the bit of K Road that we are going to be walking along because we are going to get a bus from Pitt Street. I suppose you could say it's a pit stop. What have you thought about K Road during the day? A lot more tolerable. Yes, a lot of the bars are still open. Um, but it doesn't have that sort of nighttime feel about it. So if you're like me and you maybe don't like going out to these places at night, the daytime could be better.